So here I am on board the beautiful MSC Virtuosa in not great weather conditions. No. I'm blaming, <laughs> I'm blaming Southampton entirely. However, I'm with Steve Williams, who is the director of sales for MSC, a well-known figure in the travel industry. Now, how long have you been in cruise? Oh, uh, 19 years. Nine, a few years. Yes. And how's MSC? Fabulous. <laughs> we are having a wonderful year, Andy. Um, you know, well and truly back post pandemic now and absolutely booming. Um, I think MSC Virtuosa, since we put her in Southampton and commenced the sailings, what was it, May 20th, 21? 21 it was. You know, bold move, um, brand new ship, but I think it's really cemented us with the UK market and the love for this ship in the UK and Ireland now is uh it's well and truly there she's she's just gone from strength to strength and built our brand um to a place i guess we we believe was unimaginable three four five years yeah. ago and this ship is quite a regular feature of the uk now so <laughs> she comes in is it every week every, every couple of weeks every single week. in the winter she's every week she does a seven night turnaround right um and she's been here since last spring so through last summer, through the winter, every seven nights, and then we're about to embark on the summer 23 season, which is a whole variety of cruises. So 40 night meds, we've got fjords, Iceland and Norway's, Canaries, shorts. So you've got a whole yeah. array of nice. itineraries for the summer. And she's, she's one of the larger ships, so she's Meraviglia Plus class of ships. So what does that mean? What's the difference between some of your other ships? So she's... Slightly longer, slightly larger, um, a few more features. So the Galleria, which we'll show you, um, which is very much the heart of the ship, is uh, an extended version. Right. So it's longer, um, which offers more options for food and beverage outlets. Um, so more choice for guests. Yeah. And then, of course, she has more cabins because she's that bit bigger. And then entertainment has been, I've, I've sailed on this ship, so we know the entertainment is really good, but you've got a few different entertainment spaces. Yeah, so we're really, really elevating the entertainment, particularly for summer 23. Um, so the, the unique thing with Virtuosa is, it's the only ship within our 22 ships that is dedicated to one market, which it's, it's only the British and Irish that, that really cruise on Virtuosa. But that allows us the option mm. to really tailor yeah. the entertainment for our guests because we're not appealing to multinational um, markets. So this summer we're going to have a lot of um, great tribute acts, some which have been on already. Mm. Now we've had a really successful Michael Bublé oh, act and Adele act. I think we have a Beatles tribute. Uh, we do the ABBA parties on the, the Galleria. We've got the two entertainment spaces, which obviously the main theatre, and we're mixing up some of the shows for this summer to offer some more choice and more, more, more variety in there. Mm. And then we've got the Carousel Lounge at the back, um, where we have two amazing shows, kind of acrobatic, oh, wow. uh, very, very good entertainment space. Um, but then the Galleria, which we talked about just now. Mm. Again, every night we have parties on there. So that is the beating heart of the ship. One night you may have an ABBA party on there. You might have a 60s, 70s, 80s night, a tropical night, our famous white night, space night. So oh, really? oh, wow. every night that, that really comes alive. And there's loads of bars and places along there, but actually your dining options, you've also got loads of those on board. Tell us about Huge some of those. Huge amount. And Virtuos is unique because it has I think within the MSC fleet, my favourite restaurant. It's the only ship with it, which is Indochine. Ah. So Indochine is on the just off the Galleria, mm. and it's a French Vietnamese restaurant. Love that. Absolutely yeah. fabulous. The food in there is exceptional. Um, then we've got Butcher's Cut, which is our well-known steak restaurant. Uh, we've got Kaito Teppanyaki and Love Sushi teppanyaki. Bar. Um, of course, got the Marketplace Buffet, which has our best at sea pizzas, um, <laughs> then you've got the main dining, then you've got dining up by the pool areas. So um, you've got the Jean-Philippe Marie Chocolatier, 
and he's got the gelato <laughs> and pancake um, area. So, I mean... So loads of choice. Yes, yeah, so, so much choice. Um, and obviously this is one of, as you said, you've got quite a big fleet now, but it seems that it's quite a busy year every year for MSC Cruises because you often nice. produce lots of innovative new ships. So what's uh, next for you? What's next? Imminently is MSC Euribia joining right. the fleet, uh, which is our third and final... Um, Meravelia Plus Class, plus class. <laughs> oh, but fifth Meravelia okay. Class ship. Yeah. Um, and she is going to be based here for the winter. Oh, so, right. really excited. We get another new yeah. ship in Southampton um, and some unique features with her. She's going to have some slightly different dining options. Okay. We're going to have a Rabata, a Japanese Rabata oh, wow. um, grill on board. Um, but the big thing with Euribia is she's LNG. Ah. Um, so we will have a, an incredibly sustainable yeah. ship in Southampton for the winter season, uh, which is great news. We're just off the back of launching World Europa, which is mind boggling. It's incredible. And it's bigger than this class. Significantly, right? significantly bigger. And I mean, it, uh, you know, you hear the word game changing a lot, mm. I think within our sector, because, you know, cruise lines are known for innovating, but I think nothing prepared me for stepping on board that ship. And it's the best way to describe it is taking our seaside class and our Meravelia class, yeah. blending them together oh, and really offering the best of both worlds. Um, the amount of new concepts on board in terms of entertainment, dining, uh, new bars, it, it's just mind-boggling. Mind I mean, you do a week on that ship, you won't see all of the venues <laughs> wow. or have time to kind of dine or, or go to all the venues. It's just an incredible ship. Then off the back of World Europa, we launch World America. So that's just gone on sale okay. now, and she's going to be based in Miami in our brand new state-of-the-art cruise yes, terminal. We new terminal being built. We're building a well, I believe it's America's largest cruise terminal to handle our um, world-class ships. And yeah, so when World America launches in spring 25, she will be based out of that terminal and she'll be cruising the Caribbean and of course calling on our private island Ocean Key in the Caribbean, which is... Which is another big hit of yours, right? Because uh, it's, it's, it's one of those sustainable places and there's been quite a lot of money spent on... It's fabulous. I mean, I was fortunate enough to go there last... April um, and I think what was nice we obviously we built it over five six years developed mm. it built this beautiful marine nature reserve um, quite different from some of the other islands that have been built for cruise lines in the Caribbean mm. in that it's all very natural it's all about sustainability the environment the corals around the island um, but because it opened and then COVID happened it, it closed yeah so it was left to develop and grow and kind of bed in nice. and I was really surprised when we visited last spring just how much the flora and the fauna the wildlife you know you stand on the beaches the stingrays swimming along we saw turtles um, when we were on the ship we could see kind of sharks swimming and swimming and it, it, it's a really incredible unique destination and presumably the weather's slightly different to the weather we've it's got today in Southampton. slightly <laughs> better than it is in Southampton today yes um you're obviously very busy with all of these new ships and of course the, the rest of the fleet I mean they've not gone away you're still still working with them you also yes. have a sister brand coming out very soon which I'm, I won't ask you too much about but Explorer Journeys is coming yes I mean I was just chatting to Pretty, yeah. who's my counterpart at Explorer and I'm sure needs no introduction um, and she just said to me oh we're 60 days from launch 60, right? so you know it really is close now really exciting mm. for the MSC family yeah. it's been a vision of the owners to have a ultra luxury brand uh, from what I've seen and talking to the Explorer team you know we've had briefings and trainings yeah the product looks incredible yeah, it does. absolutely yeah. incredible um and one i can't wait to get on and see myself they it's, will let you on i hope i sincerely hope so pretty <laughs> <laughs> at some point uh but no it looks utterly unique um fabulous everything msc does and elevated and the dining the the concepts the 
the kind of you know longer stays in port. Mm. Some of the ports have called the game. I mean, yeah. I've not you even do. heard no, of the no, places, no. Andy. Lovely I'm having accident. to get up a map and look. Where's that? Where's that? <laughs> not even heard of these destinations. So, so now it looks a fabulous proposition. Of course, there's going to be six ships yeah. within that fleet. So. That is going to keep the Explorer team very busy. <laughs> we wish them well. We wish them well. Uh, you're going to take us on the tour. So thank you for, are. for grabbing 10 minutes to chat to us. And uh, thank you for having us on board today. You're welcome. Thank you.